It exceeds this dos dosage, 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 and three to four. You risk you're risking yourself to get nausea, nausea, nauseous. you guys um, a new supplement I decided I'm gonna start uh, taking but like every supplement that I take so far I do my research except that this time now that I have this channel going I want to make sure I share the information of the that I have gathered around here and so it's basically gonna first explain what it is um, what it does um, the pros and the cons of it okay so basically, the new supplement is going to be uh, some nitric oxide right over here. And then nitric oxide, basically what it does is... Uh Don't leave me now. Oh. 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 Oxide is a gas that's produced by our bodies and 
that gas uh, helps our cells communicate through our entire body, like all our cells. Um, that being said, this product over here, I'm not being paid for them by the way, but this product over here um, is not nitric oxide. Even though when you go to the store and ask for nitric oxide, they're gonna show you stuff like this. It doesn't contain nitric oxide because it can't produce a gas. Yeah, it has uh, arginine, I believe that's how you say it, and a few other things. But arginine is the main thing, which causes your body to produce nitric oxide. So when you intake arginine, you basically make your body produce nitric oxide. That being said, uh, arginine is natural. This thing is natural, you know, like nit nitric oxide is natural, arginine is natural. In fact, you don't even have to buy a, su a supplement for arginine so that your body can produce nitric oxide. You can just make sure you're eating healthy. According to what I what I found out, make sure you're eating healthy. If, you're, if, you're, if your meals are healthy, you know, if you're eating healthy food, if you're exercising and stuff, your body will create nitric oxide from the food you're intaking, obviously. However, if you're ever in a cut or if you're ever limiting yourself to certain foods, uh, there's gonna be times where you're gonna find yourself not consuming enough of certain things. Arginine can be one of them. So, you know, I'm just gonna start tossing it in my pre-workouts before my workouts. It helps with the pump. It helps get a better pump. Uh, your better blood flowing going because of the nitric oxide. Uh, what it does, what nitric oxide does to your, uh, so nitric oxide, what it does is it dilates your arteries, which leads to better blood flow for your body, for your cells, and, I mean, for your veins. And so it's gonna get all that veiny look. And then, there's plenty of uh, pros to it, so I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons, okay? First of all, the pros, uh, it improves your memory. That's one of the pros. The second thing is it helps with your immune system. It helps. It helps your immune system. Uh, if you don't know what immune system is, uh, basically your immune system is what fights all the bacteria, all the viruses, tumors, anything bad for your body. It just keeps your body healthy. So it basically strengthens your immune system as you're taking this. Um, it regulates blood pressures and it also oh, it does that by dilating the, the arteries like I was saying it reduces inflammation uh, improves sleep quality increases your recognition of sense it also increases endurance and strength so I will give you more endurance according to my research and I don't know about strength but I know I can see why the endurance will make sense if your blood continuously flows through your um, through your body, it will just naturally give you more endurance. And then it assists with your gastric motility. Okay. So why is this important for bodybuilders or for athletes? Uh, so athletes take supplements like R9, first of all, and l citrulline to support the flow of blood, like I was saying, and oxygen to the skeletal muscle. They also use them to facilitate the removal of exercise-induced lactic acid buildup, which reduces fatigue and recovery time. Okay, I'm gonna put the links to all this stuff in the description box, if you guys wanna double check me. But another thing is that it does help with the soreness. It does help to get rid of the, um, the lactic acid that builds up in our muscles after our workout. So it does reduce your recovery time and it and it does and it does improve your endurance time. Um, since arginine levels become depleted during exercise, the entire arginine nitric oxide citrulline loop can lose efficiency, causing less than ideal nitric oxide levels than higher lact lactate levels. Okay, so those were the pros to this. Um, the negatives, because there are negative things. But the thing about this, because it's such a natural thing, well, not this, natural would be like, 
to the food intake rate but the supplementation arginine is such a natural thing that you can't really screw up unless you're really big at that mess. for example if you can see more than what the bottle tells you uh, another negative thing would be the urge to urinate so it will make you go piss a lot why? You can prevent this by keeping arginine dosages under 5,000 milligrams a day. And you know, when you hear 5,000 milligrams, you think of a lot. The truth is, if you, for some reason, decide to take more than what it tells you, which it tells you to take two scoops of it, if you, by any chance, decide to take three or four, you're basically passing that 5,000 milligram. And um, although this might sound like a lot, like I said, um, you could exceed the dosage, dosage, dosage in three to four servings of the average nitric oxide supplement. That being said, the amino acids used in nitric oxide supplements typically have little impact to dopamine production. So this is another negative thing. So this side effect is rare. However, you can naturally increase dopamine levels via exercise, dieting, and even participating in sexual activities. Furthermore, the amino acid tyrosome is known to increase dopamine production when used in safe dosage between 250 to 500 milligrams a day. So, what is dopamine and what, why does this, or what? So, dopamine, what it does is, um, so the reduction of dopamine can lead to motivation levels going down, healthy sleep cycles, unhealthy sleep cycles, short and long term memory and cognitive, cognitive skills. So all these things can go down due to overdoing this, right? And it's just a weird side effect. However, you can, you can, you know, these side, these side effects are only bad if you overdo it, like I said. You just gotta basically just be smart about it. And also that dopamine thing, it only works, it, it's only, it's only gonna happen if you're not exercising enough, which if you're not, then I don't know what, what you're doing since this is a fitness channel. Um, exercising, dieting, another thing, and even participating in sexual activities. That's more on the personal side. However, uh, dieting and exercising are things that get done every day. And so, you have nothing to worry about that if you're doing one of some of those things, okay? Uh, so, yep, this is my new supplement that it's gonna, it's gonna start going with my supplement stack now. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope it became helpful. Uh,